out there is uh, overcommitted. In the same thing, I punch normal, okay, let's say here we jab, but now all of a sudden I want to punch somebody hard, and I exaggerate, because now this is normal, now I want to punch really somebody hard, now you're going to do something stupid. And I don't want to be that, because at that point it becomes a gamble. At that point, our training is not relevant anymore, and it becomes where it could be him, it could be me. Training I want it to be, where it creates a predictable outcome. That's the idea, that's the thing with me and the art. I want you to trust your training. If your brain doesn't trust your training, you're gonna switch it up, and, and, and now it becomes apples and oranges. You're training here to total freedom. Out there is like, ah! And you know, like, you okay, freaking like an angry Italian mom. Okay, so, stay relaxed, throw that jab, but I need you to close those hands, this is a hammerhead, and we really boom, all the time. Pad hold, like I said for other stuff, just careful, but just, just hold properly so that you're always, if you guys see that when I'm holding, my left is hurting, guess what? You only do is the right. And that solves the problem, you get it? Nice and strong, only left. Let's go, ready? Go, 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 go. go. So I need you to feel that right now, you're going so fast that you're staying on target. So when you're throwing your one, it's snapping, two, it's back. I need to be, it has to be glued it has to be glued to the second punch. You understand what I mean? If your rate of fire is fast, you'll stay on target long. But again, you have to have some bad attention. Pat holes, tell them, are they coming too close? Are they hurting your shoulder? Talk to each other, okay? But I need you to feel, like I said, the goal is for you to get these punches going, because when you fight, and again, I want to give you certainty, because I'm telling you, if somebody today approaches you out there, you're not gonna do a spinning hole kick or some bullshit, okay? You're gonna freaking punch him in the face. Somebody comes in like a woman in Memphis and stuff that was kidnapped and stuff. You know, I want you to feel like somebody comes at you a certain way, you can define your space and know that you can put somebody down. But I need you to believe in your punches. If you stay always within your comfort zone, man, it's gonna be a problem. You know what I mean? Because there's nothing comfortable about the comfort, real world confrontation. And your brain is gonna have that knowledge and not put it in this context, okay? So right now, only with the right hand. Jab, if they call one, bah, they put the pad down so their guns are always up. Then again, two, bah, bah, and then, and then again, move up. Stay sharp, do not punch the person in the face, ideally. Okay, let's go, ready? One, two.
don't come in with a fox. But with Caroline, I'll come in with a grab or April. Yeah, that's just the way it is. You know, when Raymond he said, I'm coming in, I'm lazy, but I see a big guy, I stop and I come in with a different approach. You have to have that conversation say, okay, what am I going to do? When am I going to do it? Okay, and, you know, and then you train that pretty one or two things. Like, nobody's going to come in for you, Caroline, and come in with a double A takedown and do some crazy UFC move. They're going to try to grab you, you know, and, and whatever else. You figure out what your thing is and make it awesome.